Hey, hello everyone and welcome to Extreme Graphics Tech. My name is Angelo and well, you know, I did a video a couple of months maybe about 1080p versus DLSS 1440p and ever since, even though it's not the most popular video on my channel, it, it, it isn't going that bad either, but it seems that I have got and always there is people asking me to do some other comparison. So recently, uh, I think as recent as yesterday or today, maybe in the morning, I'm not quite sure, I got a question about comparing 1080p native and 1440p native against 4K performance, the LSS performance. Um, and so I thought that is an interesting comparison and even I wanted to see how much better it could be because you know that 1080p uh, 4K uh, DLSS performance is internally rendering at 1080p. So I thought, well, this, this is going to be an interesting, you know, test. So I d decided it's not going to be a very in-depth video. Um, it's just a quick video comparing four different games and four different engines just to see how they, um, you know, what's the difference in terms of quality and if it's better to play 4K performance than 1440p native, for example. So on the left, you're always going to have the 4K DLSS version, the middle is the 1440p and on the right, the 1080p. So let's start with this game, which is the A Plague Tale Requiem, right? Um, well, you know, you can already see if you look at it that there are some difference already here. If we got close to the foliage, you can see that the 4K per, uh, DLSS is much better. It's more detailed, less alias than the other two, but they, you know, they, they, they are not that bad in here. Also, if we check at this texture here, this is a very close texture. So they present some difference, not huge difference, but that's what I'm trying to uh, look at, right? Like close, and far details because at the end of the day that's what we are trying to find out if we get for example to the uh, hair of amicia in this case you can see that the even the performance uh the lss is the, the hair is composed of more pixels it's broken in all three images but it's still the one that is more complete is the 4k dlss which is interesting right look at the 1440p and look at the 1080p but if we look at the far distance you know from this you know normal distance maybe here there you know it, there is a little bit more clarity when it comes to the far objects but how much more clarity is that well that's when things get very interesting if we see this tower in here we can see that the 1080p version lo loses completely the details of the brick that it's forming the tower there is a wall here and you cannot make the a brick at, at all at 1440p even though it's like 15% more um, pixels still there is um it, it, you can start to see in details but still it's not perfect while if we check on the tower here you see on the 14 on the 4k DLSS performance we can see the brick making the wall and the tower so in this case we see a huge difference on a distance object on a distant object uh, on the way it's constructed. So we can see clearly in this particular um, image that the 4K version of DLSS is superior to the other two in every way imaginable. Okay, so the next game I'm showing is The Witcher 3, the next gen edition that, you know, supports DLSS and all those uh, little nice things. So as you can see here, the 4K version, uh, all three of them looks quite similar. You know, the, the way the, the Witcher renders and the TAU um, anti-aliasing that it uses makes them look quite similar, to be honest. However, you can see that the 4K DLSS version is a little bit more cleaner in general than the other two versions. I wouldn't say there is a lot more detail necessarily, but if we get close to it, you can see that the image is much more cleaner. It's a softer image, maybe, but it's still more pleasing to the eyes than the other two. If we check at these, you know, um, textures on the background, the 1080p doesn't resolve very well. The 1440p, I will say, resolves quite good. And then the 4K is like it has some sort of anti-aliasing applied that tends to um, smooth the edges of the images a lot more. But I wouldn't say it's resolving necessarily more details, but to my eye, at least, it's a lot more pleasing. Of course, we are making a very big close-up, and when we just show at a distance, there is not going to be a big difference in terms of um, quality. However, there is going to be some difference in when you're seeing the whole game in full. You are going to have a more pleasing image when looking at the 4K one. Because even if we look at this 
far away bridge comparing to the um, a Plato Requiem, you can see that all three of them do you can still make up the details on the on the back on the brick wall. It looks quite um, discernible in all three resolutions. But for, the, for example, we come to things like this, these little flowers, and they are four pixels here, more pixels here, and of course here it looks a little bit more uh, like integrated, like the whole image has been you know treated by some kind of uh, image system. So I will say that still the 4K DLSS looks more pleasing, but I won't say it's necessarily more detailed than the 1440p one. Both images are quite good and both are better than the 1080p image. If you ask me, I will say that the 4K DLSS performer has a slight edge just because of situations like this where, you know, grass is uh, or trees, you know, um, there is more detail, more yeah anti-alias. You can see here there is more alias, more steps in the uh, foliage, which is making, you know, the image look a little bit rougher, but that's, you know, we are looking for those details in, in this image. It's not like the image is like that, because if we see uh, what we have in, up front of us, you can see that all three of them look quite similar and quite decent, but this is what I was saying when I said that the image looked more pleasing. You can see there is a lot of this, like, sort of shimmering uh, pixel things, where here the image is a lot more clean. Okay, so this next game is Dying Light 2, which I tested on the first video. Uh, unfortunately, this image is not exactly the same, because for some reason, every time I, I was switching between resolutions, it ended up always like um, freezing and I couldn't take the exact same pictures. However, I think it's very similar and we are going to be able to uh, get some details from here. So you can see, let's just start with this uh, one here. You can see the 4K image. You can resolve more of the roof in here. It's more detailed and you can see a little bit more of what is composing that. And you can see that, and you know, besides the 1080p is very blurry in this case uh, compared to the other two. It's clear that the uh, 4K image is, has more detail in it. For example, in this roof, we can make uh, the details in the 4K and the 1440p, which we can on the uh, 1080p. Also, there is this air conditioning and we can see more details and even the fact that there is some sort of um, uh, like mesh in here uh, above this and in here it becomes a blurry mess on both of this. So as you can see, the uh, 4K image is much more clear in both cases. So now once again here, well, you see there is not a huge difference. I don't, I won't say there is a big difference, but I will still say that the 4K DLSS performer has a slight edge, even though it's not very big because of the way this engine functions. However, if we get close to this image here, you see, we can see more details. It's more defined here. We cannot read, but we see that there is something written in here, even though, you know, it's we cannot read it. We um, we can make up that there is some sort of letters while right here we can. And here, of course, you are not going to see absolutely anything. So as you can see in Dying Light 2, um, once again, the 4K DLSS performance from my point of view will be my choice over the 1440p image. But because we don't live only off um, images, I have some videos because I think it's important to see how this is in movement because maybe you say, yeah, well, then you know, pictures, they look quite good, but how do they look in movement when they're moving? And you can see here, I'm showing you this area which has a lot of what I would say is particles, even though they are birds, are they're probably created using a particle system. However, you can see there is no ghosting, there is no trailing, there is nothing, and the image look very stable and very, very good. We can get very close to it and you are going to see that there is no no issues whatsoever. And if we check on the movement of the trees, you, from here we can see there is a slight, a slight, very slight ghosting on the 4K DLSS when it comes to movement from the trees. You see there is this little effect going on, but because this is one is lower resolution, it's a little bit more blurry, then it seems like this uh, is better, which I will think it is. And from this distance, when we go a normal viewing distance, there is not much difference. Now, if we get close to this tree here, you can see that this tree is much more and better resolved in the 4K version DLSS performance than on the other two. You can see there is a lot more shimmering going on on the 1440p and 1080p native images. So in this case, I will say once again, the 4K DLSS looks much better if you ask me than the other two. So as you can see, um, yeah, there is definitely more details. And this is an interesting one because you can see here that the 4K DLSS performance is able to resolve what is seems to be some sort of uh, birds flying in the background. They are, you know, like 
flickering a little bit, but when you compare with the 10, with the 1440p at 1080p, which you can barely see because they are even, uh, you know, more flickery and more faint, then you realize that the 4K version DLSS performance clearly looks so much better and complete than the other two. And remember, the DLSS performance should give you about or more the performance than the 44, 1440p native version. And the last game I'm going to be testing today is the uh, Spider-Man Miles Morales. Uh, I took, uh, I decided on this scene because it has a lot of, you know, details, branches, movement, a lot of things going on. So we can see how they perform on all of this. And if we get close to this very distant pattern, you can see that here is much better resolved. We can see clearly the lines. If we go to the trees, we can see that the trees are more detailed in this than is, it is in the other two resolutions. Even the textures here are much better resolved. So um, in general, I'll say that once again, this image looks much better. However, there is one particular issue that I found and I think it has to do with transparency. Let's go to this area here. Look at this area here. You can see that this is some sort of fence, right? And this fence seems to be done by maybe a transparency texture or something. I'm not quite sure. I don't think it's a full 3D, but whatever is happening, you can see that you can look through it in both the 1080p, which is not very well resolved and the 1440p, which is, looks a lot better. But when we compare the 4K DLSS performance, whatever is happening here, that reconstruction is not allowing us to look to the other side. Look, it's like this here. This reconstruction has some sort of thing in front of it blocking the view from whatever is happening, which is not happening here. So in this case, not everything is 100% perfect. I think if we compare this tree here, that yes, the 4K DLSS performance looks much better than the uh, 1080p and a little bit better than the uh, 1440p but when we look at a distance I think it's a more much pleasing image the 4k DLSS performance however there are some little problems that came from the DLSS that didn't happen on the native ones so those are some of the trade-offs that sometimes we have to find and decide what we want but especially because if you look at this here you can see how much better resolve and detail this area is which is very problematic problematic sometimes and you can see here at 1080p how it's much more blo uh, broken. I won't say it look bad in any case, well, you know, we are comparing so we need to find those details, those areas where one it looks better or worse than the other. And in this case, well, you know, I will say that both images, the 1440p and the 4K DLSS performance have their issues and uh, depending on what you prefer. I think the 4K DLSS is more detailed, but well, I don't know if I'm happy having not having this transparency here or this, you know, effect, but it may not be that important for other people while they will prefer, you know, more clarity. In this case, well, they both look quite good. And as I said before, you guys are not going to leave out of uh, pictures only. So here is another video in this case of Spider-Man Miles Morales. There is some movement in there. As you can see, there is the character, there is the trees, and there is the snow happening. And as you can see, the 4K DLSS is completely stable. There is no shimmering. So that's very important because sometimes it can create a lot of shimmering. And that's a big problem because it's distracting. In this case, we can see that they all look very good. You can see the trees here moving without generating any sort of ghosting or or shimmering artifact even on the most um you know little details it looks quite good um you know the snow is having no trails no ghosting no problems and they all look very very good so yeah this is essentially the look of spider-man in all three qualities and so there you go guys so we have compared what is 4k dlss performance against 4040p native and 1080p native as, and as you can see from my point of view if i had to choose in all cases i would always go with 4k dlss performance as long as you have the performance to do it in the sense of you know if you can run it and still get the frame rate you're looking for um from my point of view the image quality is better even though we've seen some errors in the spider-man games and there are other games that maybe the implementation is not as good image quality wise especially with some ghosting happening but in general i think dlss has gone a long way to resolve many of these issues and 4k dlss performance looks uh, very very good 
Uh, maybe we have to test against 4K native and see how much are we losing in the process. But because um, I think it's better that I didn't test it because the whole point was not to see how much you're losing against 4K, but how much you're gaining against 10, uh, 1080 and 1440p native. And that's, I think, is the big point here. If you prefer to play 1440p native on going all the way to 4K DLSS performance, which is going to net you some more clarity of image. And from my point of view, it does and it does look better. So, well, I don't know. What are your thoughts about these findings? Do you think, uh, do you prefer 4K DLSS performance or would you prefer always native? You know, every some people just hate any sort of reconstruction because it's fake pixels. I, I don't know. I, I don't care about those things, to be honest. As long as my eyes are deceived and they look uh, as good as I want them to look, then to me, that's all it matters. But what matters to you? And what would you do? Leave it in the comments below and see you on the next video.